So how does a kid come out of Hart High School wind up here on the, on the right on the field here at Dodger Stadium like this, teaching guys how to hit the baseball? I don't know, man. Just kind of happened. I have no. I mean, just you know, just obviously I've studied hitting and you know, gotten to work with some really good hitters and just kind of happened. Just sort of fell into it. But didn't you have like an academy out in the Santa Clarita area too, or were you teaching kids? Or t tell me the whole process yeah, I mean, about like like as I, as I was like learning, I would work with anyone really, um, anyone that wanted to work, I would work with and which helped me get better because I got to see a pretty like wide net of people. So I got to see all kinds of different problems and learn solutions for them. And um, yeah, then it grew from there to pro clientele and just kind of, you know, evolved. Were you like a lot of other kids who grew up in the Santa Clarita Valley and other places in the country where your dream was to actually play as a major league player? Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, that's yeah. the goal is to play. And then as you realize you're not good enough, like you're like, man, like, well, there's other things you can do in baseball other than be a player, which is the hardest thing to do takes the most skill and things that got to happen, hard work and all that, that has to fall in place. So, you know, coaching, I kind of found my niche in. How does the, the teaching part of it uh, come into play? I mean, it, it's kind of interesting that a guy can be really good at teaching something, not necessarily be a great player and vice versa. Yeah, I mean, it's just understanding how to get people like to relate to certain things and uh, putting things in terms um, that like they can understand taking something really complex and boiling it down to something very simple. So if you can do that and help players understand things they need to be doing and understand the principles like behind those things, I think you can make something as comp you know as complex as hitting like you know like pretty simple. So are you saying you could you could look at my golf swing and you could I, adjust I, it to I where I go to Valencia Country Club and I could hit the ball straighter? I, I cannot do that because I, I can't I can't seem to fix my own golf swing. So. <laughs> well, listen, let me ask you finally. Everybody talks about high launch angle. What the heck does that mean? Um, it, it's just a measurement to understand a result. Uh, honestly, like we don't really look at that that much. We're more looking at the process that creates that. And if the process that adds up to a good angle off the bat is right, that's gonna be an outcome, not something that we're really paying that much attention to. Okay, so it's not really a science then, necessarily. Um, there's a science that goes into the swing, the biomechanics, the sequencing, the ground forces, and all that kind of stuff. And if you do that correctly and strike the ball square, the result will be a ball that has a positive launch angle, but we're more paying attention to how the body's moving um, and the sequencing and those kind of things that equal um, you know, quality contact. Last question. Do you have anything to say to the, the Hart Indians as they get ready for the NFL season? Matt Moore is now helping out the football team and then baseball's around the court. Hey, just good luck and 